Today we ask, what will it take for you to believe? Please consider our observations. I believe because long ago a mentor, a Princeton PhD, Dr. Hansen, explained some toys, cement mixes, and the rain cycle to me, using the absolute proof of valid equations. Many years later, I worked with MIT doctorates from the Artificial Intelligence Tribe. They had a perfect controller dream. Using powerful computers, invented by somebody else, their controller would enable robots to hit a baseball perfectly, even if the sweet spot was slightly missed. They made a machine to demonstrate so everyone would believe them. The controller software was almost perfect. The machine and the business plan failed. Knowing about the cement mix of Enigma, a humble, or naive, technician asked how much energy was destroyed and saw some embarrassment red. The doctorates wanted to swing this, but because of the cement mixer reactions, this was the best they could do. Neither profiteers nor politicians were interested, even if they could swing the bat. I wanted to include an observation based on what I learned from Dad and Mrs. Smith, but I was outvoted. Dr. Hansen was a great teacher, and I certainly wanted to learn. I also had endless questions from my inventor instincts. Dr. Hansen and I discussed gyroscopes many times. I wondered if gyroscopic forces could produce free energy. He confirmed there are no gyroscopic forces or torque. All spinning objects have higher angular inertia in perpendicular axes, just like more inertia when rolling than when swinging on a string. I am not sure which of these is true. I might run Wright Brother type experiments to determine the truth, but only after oil burning is done. Gyroscopic inertia might be useless, but it explains two things. Professor Lewin did not show this experiment to his class, because in this quadrant there is logarithmic decay. Logarithmic decay is commonly expressed in time terms of half-life, like radioactive decay. Logarithmic energy decay is part of the useful invention that balances jet engines. The half-life here would be longer than the class period. We are all aware of what happens when half-life decay is sped up. This effect can be shown less violently with freezing water or lamina flow in pipes. Unfortunately, those two half-life reactions without heat are not reversible. We are more interested in the reversible stuff that happens up top. Let's call it the opposite polarity. There is no half-life decay in this quadrant. There is something else. My hypothesis, Professor Lewin's equipment might be able to show that the something else is energy transfer between the red and yellow gimbal axes. If the hypothesis is true, a less than perfect gyroscope would scoot across the floor and fall over violently. It should fall over the same way without the scoop. Some objects would be impossible to spin. Dr. Hansen believed lots of forces were fictitious, 
free energy was possible in catalytic cyclic reactions and impulse power would be the death blow to burning oil. So he told me not to come back with more free energy schemes until I had some answers. All but Dr. Hansen's fourth requirement to believe in no more oil have been addressed here. The fourth will be addressed in the next class. Wrapping up, when will you believe? Here are some of your options. Impulse Power Personal Transportation Device